Holy shit. How the fuck does this guy even have a platform still? To have done what he did and still have a platform and still have a shit-eating grin makes me want to blow my brains out over my mum's brand new white carpet. Yes, of course, you guys have probably figured it out by now by the title and, well, what I've just said before, we are talking about Mini Lad, or as everyone likes to call him, The Nance. First of all, we're going to start off from the title, and yes, you do read that right, it's Why Losing Everything Was The Best Thing To Happen To Me. Bro, you nonster kid, what do you mean by that? Damn, I got caught. Oh, I guess everyone's expectations of me are going to be really low now. So if I do it again, they're not going to be that surprised. I said it before and I've said it again. Why the fuck does this guy have a shitty ingrin the entire time? Like, genuinely, if you're going to clear your name, don't sit there with a shitty ingrin in your face. No one fucking cares about you, man. What you did was fucking disgusting. Like, if you think your side's going to get you anywhere, it's fucking not. Whether or not you have mental health issues doesn't put aside the heinous shit that you fucking did. He goes on to say some shit that I really could not be bothered to listen to. But one thing that did catch my attention is the fact that he turned around and said at some point in your YouTube career, you're going to get cancelled, whether it's major or minor. Which, yeah, fair enough, I agree with that. But, and there's a fucking big button there, you fucking listen to me. He nonced on a fucking kid. Bro, that's not just getting cancelled for stupid shit. You did something that is genuinely so socially unacceptable and illegal. I have to point as well, just putting a little indent here. That people have spent years in prison over it and you got lucky by not having to go to somewhere like that. And again, coming back to my last point, and he still sat there with a fucking grin on his face. Fair enough. He went to therapy, which is a good step in the direction, I, I guess. However, I feel like he's just using it as a fucking excuse at this point. He's like, oh, I've changed. I've changed. No, you fucking haven't. You just learned how to get away with it and realize that you're the victim in this situation when you're clearly fucking not. I think it's nice to come back to the age old saying, actions speak louder than the words. And from what I've seen so far from like his body language and general disposition, that he's not sorry and he really doesn't care. And I think this shows that he's a grade A cunt. Now this part, this part is probably one of my favourite parts of the video. He sits there and complains about buying a 3.2 million house and a Ferrari because he thought he had to show off to people because he didn't have a personality and somehow which in turn made him into a nonce? The fuck do you mean? How do they even connect? You've literally just complained about being rich. Like who the fuck cares? You got put into a position where you could help people. Yeah, hell, you're complaining about having too much money and not knowing what to do with it. Fucking help someone, even if it's a family member or a close friend or someone that you know there's a need. You sit there and go, hmm, I'm sad. I'm going to go buy myself a Ferrari. Oh, by the way, I have to do illegal things to be able to find some form of attention in this world. Bro, grow the fuck up. For the whole video, there's no accountability whatsoever. He's just blaming everything else and not himself, which is normally what people do in this sort of situation. They can't find it deep down themselves to realize they did something wrong. And if they do try and like say, oh, it was me, it's normally for monetary gain or some form of gain of some sorts. I know this is a short video. I guess it's more like an open letter to Mini Lad, and I kind of do hope it reaches him. If not, I know for a fact he's going to end up blocking me on something because I'm going to tweet at him too, just to really dig in the point. But fucking grow up. You're what, 20, 27 years old, and you're still acting like a fucking 18 year old. Hell, even a fucking 14 year old is probably more mature than you. Post a video where you're actually taking accountability for the shit you've done and try to refrain on blaming it on other people, I guess. Anyway, yeah, fuck you. Peace out. Bye.